Just back home after what's hopefully my last visit to the supermarket for some time. Um, yeah, it's only an hour or two after the announcement that we're going into full lockdown for a month. But it was definitely a different vibe out there today. There was um, police out the front of the supermarkets and, you know, queues. It was all very orderly. Everyone's very chill. But, yeah, people are all thinking the same thing, stocking up. There's still not many people wearing face masks. There's a few, but I'm still a little bit of a, a face mask outlaw. But, um... You know, yeah, I think people are getting it. They're getting more used to the idea of it. Amazing. Plenty of free car parks. That's a bonus. It's normally random here. And then, yeah, it's pretty quiet. There's normally lots of people here, but uh, there's still a few people, but it's definitely very quiet. This is the main tourist strip, the mall. Uh, pretty dead, no one around. Party town is closed. Behind it all, a potential welfare crisis. 2,000 migrant workers with no job and no income. We're worried about whether they'll still have places to live, whether they'll still be able to get a meal. Many of them won't have uh, money, they won't have savings. Bolt's asking the government to provide assistance to visa workers. Concern too for backpackers and freedom campers. How are you guys going to deal with it? How are you going to manage it? I don't know, we get just gonna chill at our hostel. Yeah. The hostel we're at is quite small and it's been really good. The managers um, discounted the rates and allowed people that are already there to stay there. So we've yeah. been quite lucky. Yeah, yeah, super lucky. Yeah. yeah, I don't think I've ever seen downtown quite so dead. Uh, there's a few people around, obviously a lot of tourists are stuck here. So there's a lot of visitors from overseas who might have been planning on being here for a week and now they're stuck here for you know four to five weeks um so yeah accommodation for all those people must be very stressful um without support they're, they're stuck in hostels and hotels and airbnbs for a lot longer than they planned so yeah we just hope all the landlords and hotel owners are being uh, kind and not price gouging and sort of trying to take advantage of the situation ducks have taken over <laughs> 